Algebra 1, 11.1d, Rational Approximations to Pi. As of July 2016, mathematicians have found 13.3 trillion digits for pi. In 1761, a Swiss mathematician, Johann Heinrich Lambert, made the first proof that pi was an irrational number. He presented his proof to the Berlin Academy. In dis decimal notation, pi never ends and never repeats. And it's possible to approximate pi to a fraction. So you can go on the internet and you can find this. Here's the first 500 digits of pi. Look at all those numbers. You can see it starts with the 3.14, doesn't it? But it continues on and on. And as of this year, they've found 13.3 trillion digits. And this is only 500. That's a lot of digits. So if we look at these digits of pi and we write down the first 25 digits of pi, which are these numbers right here, we see that we have a 3 as a whole number, don't we, before the decimal. And 3 over 1 is equal to 3. So that would be a fraction, wouldn't it? But we need it to be 3.141926. You know, it needs to go on and on and on. So how do we write that? as a fraction? Well, we can't, but we can use 3.1428, and the 28 are not the real numbers of pi. It goes 3.1415, and then the rest of these numbers. But if we use 3.1428, we can make it 22 over 7. 3.1428 is really 3 and 1,428 ten thousandths. If we put the 3 into the fraction, then we got 31,428 ten thousandths. And it would simplify to 22 over 7. We could also use 333 over 106. But we're not using the exact numbers of pi. The 0, 9 that this would equal as a decimal is wrong. It would go 141592. See? After the 5 comes a 9, 2. And they're using a 0, 9 to get to this fraction. If we wrote it out as a fraction from this decimal, which is not the absolute correct pi decimal, it would be over a million. Then we'd have... 3,141,509 millionths. And it would simplify to the 333 over 106. You could do 355 over 113. And this is not the exact numbers for pi. This 9 is wrong. It should say 1415926 and then a 5. So that 9 is not exact like pi. Plus pi continues on, and they're just stopping here and making that a 9 to get the 355 over 113. See? And we would end up writing it over 10 millionths and then simplifying it. See? We can also take the actual first 10 digits of pi and write it as a fraction, but this is still an approximation because pi doesn't stop here. It continues on. So using the first 10 digits, we can do it. See? You have 103,993 over 33, 102 thousandths. See? Now, the third annual Pi Math Contest is going to be on January 21st through 29th in the year 2017. Now, I'm just making this video, and a lot of my subscribers are just now watching it now, and we this is January 1st, so if you're watching this video and it's old, they still have the Pi Math Contest. It's just probably the 4th or 5th or 6th or 7th annual one by then, okay? The final rounds are going to be in April 29th of 2017, and the final rounds, I think, are by invitation only, and it's open to 5th grade students and below. So if you know anyone in fifth grade or below that can recite the letters of pi and would like to be in the contest, you can go online and look up PIMC 
or annual pi math contest, okay? So in math, we usually use 3.14 and 22 over 7 with an approximate symbol for pi, all right? And pi day is March 14th. It's the third month, the 14th day, 314, see? 314. And many schools have contests to see who can recite the most digits of pi. And you can go to pi.org or just try Googling pi contest, pi digit contest, and see what comes up. There might be one in your area. Our next video, 11.1e, we're going to talk about proof by contradiction. It's also known as indirect proof. And if you want a link to any of the previous videos that we just finished, or if you want to see about rational and irrational numbers from the first chapter of grade 8 math, all those links are going to be in here, all right? Even one on classifying the numbers, to, so you know the difference between a natural number, a whole number, a rational, an irrational, an integer, and all of that. That'll, there'll be a link for that in there, too, all right? So, I wonder how many digits of pi you could memorize and say without looking. I'll see you next video. We'll talk about contradictions. All right? Bye.